There are quite a number of things that I want us to talk about in this specific video. Uh, number one, I would like us to talk about MK Party, Dr. Lope has, has got something to tell you. So I'm going to share two videos from Dr. Lope. One of them is that he said, I'm not a sellout, not a sellout, forget, I'm not a sellout. The second one is the EFF. Now, there was a man that was... Uh, actually killed, uh, who is who belongs to the EFF. Um, so yeah, I wanted to talk about this man. The family rejected a 24-year sentence for those who murdered the man. Yes. And then again, um, EFF have actually, EFF, they've commented about the, the, the ongoing battle between Israel, uh, uh, Israel, Israel, uh, state with um, the Iranians because the Iranian government yesterday oh, they did the most. Oh, I don't know if you guys watched the damage that it caused. Uh, oh, it was severe. Yeah, those guys were dealing with them, the missiles and everything. So yeah, EFF have got something to talk to say about that. In fact, I want us to to, to, to go through the EFF one. Because it's also here. Where do you want me to start? In fact, let me start with this one. So these people got arrested. Um, and then after they got arrested, um, as recorded by IOL. Uh, let me read this one for you. And then we'll go to the letter le later on. Uh, oh, before I read this one, I remembered. You know what? Let's start with John, John Lope. John Lope said that he's not a sellout. It's not what I say. It is who oh, Mr. John, Dr., not even Mr., Dr. John Lope. He said this. Under my watch, Lope will never do that. I'm not a sellout. I'd rather die and be a free man in my grave than live as a puppet or a, or a slave. Not a Lope. Not a Lope. conference for three days. So the constitution. So corner, the code yet discipline. We can only buy when they have a shout out of a move. I saw Kalen, my member MK. They were a standing MK. The discipline. We can just disobey the Enfunuguti, the lens, and the attention in the song. As the Matan, we MK. The Ukala, Upata is Kali in a restricted area. Gentlemen, Mount Petrico up in Jerans Right, restricted. <laughs> After John Lope, let's go into the EFF story. Uh, the EF, EFF and the family office lane, EFF councillor Koketso Mojato has rejected a 24 year jail term handed down against Simon Mohuse and Franz 
Ntumayelo uh, on Thursday. The pair were recently found, uh, found guilty by the Houghton High Court, Johannesburg, on 12 account of murder, attempted murder, robbery, and other charges. Right? So the EFF and the family decided that, now nah, we reject this. Um, we don't we do not do this, right? Uh, okay, the court says that is look will be sentenced uh, look they will be sentenced to 24 years behind bars but the EFF are like nah uh, the EFF with the family they are like nah we don't give we don't buy that so the EFF speaking outside we are aggrieved by the process that has unfolded in an ultimate wa awarding of the 24 year 24 year sentence for these criminals we saw them busy laughing while the proceeding were unfolding Right, what the proceeding was unfolding. This tells you that these are hardened criminals who must never find reflection in society again. However, uh, the court have come to the determination that they will give the uh, that they will give them twenty four years in jail. What is more tragic is their failure to be remorseful, and they even want to appeal their sentence. Mm. We must then ask ourselves on how can this criminal afford to determine the legally that they have been given through the 24-year jail time. Oh, okay, so they are displeased with that, uh, the EFF and the family. They are like, nah, we don't accept this. This, we will not accept it anyway. So, I want us, I want us to proceed. Before we can successfully proceed with this, it will be also interesting if you were to do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads. It's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so i want us to proceed again i'll go back to dr top eff released this interesting statement saying eff statement on iran's missile response to israel's aggression on Wednesday, uh, released on Wednesday, the 2nd of October 2024, the EFF have got this to say. The economic freedom fighter EFF unequivocally uh, condemns Israel's continuous expansion of terror and, and illegal occupation of the Middle East, marked by its latest attack on Lebanon, Syria, and targeted assassination of uh, uh, Hassan, what, what, right? Iran's missile response to Israel escalating the aggression is a direct and a justified reaction to Israel's campaign of violence and expansion, which has long established, look, long, look, this, uh, this, what, what, the region and led to countless deaths and um, destruction. As we proceed, then EFF said the following. For even seven decades, Israel has illegally occupied Palestine, subjecting the Palestinian people to brutal apartheid policies, ethnic uh, cleansing, and widespread violence. And while receiving full backing from Western imperialist powers, notably the United States, this occupation is not limited to Palestine. It has expanded its reach to Lebanon and Syria, seeking to assert control over the entire region through violence, intimidation, and destruction. 
Since 7th of October 2023, when Hamas uh, rightfully defended Palestine land from Israel aggression, Israel has escalated its attack into what can only be described as a full-scale genocide against uh, Palestine people. Hundreds of thousands of uh, lives have been lost, mostly, mostly women and children. The apartheid state has um, in in uh, look, uh, in the what in indiscriminately bombed Gaza and West Bank, Demo look, uh, demolished homes, targeted hospitals, imposed a siege that deprived civilians of food, water, and medical supply. Israel's actions underpins by a racist colonial um, ideology are aimed at wiping out. Palestinian people act of genocide that will that the world can no longer ignore. But I'm going to continue. Before I can continue successfully continuing on this path, giving you the this, I want you to listen to George John Judge Lope speaking here. They were gathered as Mkondo sees the leadership. Right next to me is Dr. Masego, who is the SG. And they, I've got the law, uh, the regional or provincial leadership, right? Mm -hmm. Totally surrounded. I feel comfortable with my brothers next to me. The case could not be proceeded with today for two reasons. Firstly, there was an application that was brought by the media to televise these proceedings live with the aid of modern technology such as cameras <laughs> and uh, cell phones. The ruling in respect thereof was reserved until tomorrow. There is a second reason why the case could not be proceeded with today. The defense counsel, Mr. Jennings, who appears for IEC, took offense to the fact that uh, some of us, myself included, are wearing <coughs> regalia and they claim it is intimidating them. For the benefit of the public, just look at my regalia. Right? I will check. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what I'm wearing. Yeah. The claim is that this regalia is intimidating them to the extent that some of it has political slogans. So the judicial officer reserved his ruling in respect thereof. Right. I do want to say at this stage, the loss of political parties, I've never seen a single political party where the supporters do not go to court or the prescripts of the court wearing their official regard. So if there is indeed a ruling to that effect, it will be for the first time, and that will be directed. We will take that as an offense, as an affront to the S, uh, to Mkondo SCs. So the case could not be proceeded with based on those two reasons. Okay, before... Now that you're done listening to that one, I need to conclude the letter by the EFF. It says, thanks to South Africans which took Israel's genocide campaigns to the International Court of Justice uh, and the international community has now legal affirmation that Israel is indeed committing genocide and against Palestinian people. This confirms what the, or look, uh, the oppressed of the world has long known. Israel is not just an occu or, or look, occupying force but a genocidal regime. The regime that must be stopped in the light of, okay wait in light of israel's ongoing genocide the eff supports iranians right to defend itself and the sovereignty of its people against israeli israeli uh, aggression we also find uh, we also stand firm with lebanon and syria and the nation that seeks to resist israel's violence a uh, uh, violence uh, what what the EFF believes that every country has the right and the duty to defend the Palestinian people in their struggle of liberation. Israel's occupation is not just an effort to the people of uh, Palestine. It is a, like a violent cancer spreading across the Middle East and it must be resisted by all aggression, um, the progressive na nations. The last paragraph, it says, it is critical that the international community stops turning a blind eye on Israel's crimes. Instead, support 
support the oppressed people of Palestine and broader Middle East in their fight of freedom. The EFF stands against the immunity that Israel is deploying, which present a face of Western imperialism that, uh, that blows many other nations in the world, where, look, which are struggling under the way of their extreme violence. Yeah, guys, um, I'll tell you the truth. I was watching on how the Palestinians, uh, how the Iran, I, Iran, how Iran uh, responded to this and what they were doing. Wow. Oh. Oh. They said that uh, reports are saying that 80% of the missiles got where it's supposed to. Only 20% were intercepted. And uh, from what we are getting is that Iran targeted the 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 base, the base where the kid look the look it's called what the air base. In other words, uh, the fighting jets and all the stuff were targeted, and they were successfully destroyed, because those guys sent missiles after missiles after missiles. And by the way, they are saying. We are waiting for Israel. Anything that Israel will do will respond. If you think what we have done now is worse, anything that Israel will do, we will do it twice. We're just waiting for them. Israel, on the other hand, has confirmed that they are intending to respond. But they are saying, as I was listening to them, they are saying, we will respond, but in our way, in our term, when we fail. And I was like, hmm, okay, what does that, how does that sound? They're like, nah, we are going to respond, we are going to retaliate in our own way. And I'm like, e I don't know. I don't know what to say, but it's kind of weird. At the same time, I'm worried that world war in the making, because hey, I don't want to talk more about this. Let me just leave it here. Um, based on how YouTube sometimes will 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 will, will limit such conversations so let me not talk more about it hey today's a bit cold guys i don't know why today's a bit colder but yeah we'll talk more let's look at the story and allow the story to develop itself uh, but before i can conclude successfully so i am interested to know as to what's your take about what oh judge Lope? Or Dr. Lopez said, he says, I would rather be a free man than to go around collecting bribes that would later on haunt me. I, I, don't, I, I don't think we, we really appreciate the statement itself. But for me, the statement is pregnant. So we need to think deeper and reflect on what Ucha Chlope is basically saying. These are not just, hmm. it says that those who accept bribes, they're actually enslaved, if you come to think of it. In my words, didn't say anything. Judge Lopez said it, not me. Don't blame me. Just a messenger. Well, the messenger is leaving. We shall see you guys on the next video.